Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Are capital gains included? In income, end capital gains are the profits from the sale of assets like stocks, bonds, or real estate. When you sell an asset for more than you paid for it, the difference is considered a capital gain. Understanding whether capital gains are included in income is crucial for tax purposes. In the United States, capital gains are indeed included in your taxable income. The Internal Revenue Service, IRS, requires you to report capital gains on your tax return. Capital gains can be classified as either short-term or long-term, depending on how long you held the asset before selling it. NN short-term capital gains arise from the sale of assets held for one year or less. These gains are taxed at ordinary income tax rates, which can be higher. Long-term capital gains come from assets held for more than one year and are typically taxed at lower rates. The distinction between short-term and long-term capital gains is significant because it affects the amount of tax you owe. Reporting capital gains accurately is essential to comply with tax laws and avoid penalties. And the IRS provides forms like Schedule D to help you report capital gains and losses. You may also need to use Form 8949 to detail individual transactions. It's advisable to consult a tax professional if you have substantial capital gains or complex transactions. Understanding the tax treatment of capital gains can help you make informed decisions about selling assets and managing your tax liability. Always keep detailed records of your asset purchases and sales to ensure accurate reporting. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.